Good day, One Watt Flyer Squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. My name is Jaden. I'm at Takamatsu Airport in Japan. Today we're going to fly China Airlines Airbus A321 Neo, their Pikachu special livery, or Pokemon as some would say, from here, Takamatsu to Taipei, Taoyuan. Now, without further ado, let's head inside and check in. Takamatsu Airport is a very tiny airport. Check in for domestic and international flights are underneath the same roof. From Takamatsu to overseas, you can go to Taipei, Hong Kong and Seoul. And what's special about China Airlines here is that they're the only international full-service carrier. That provides those who live in the Takamatsu area and also Shikoku a very convenient option to go overseas. From Taipei Taoyuan Airport, you can connect onwards to Europe, North America and Asia Pacific. Today, I'm going to Melbourne, Australia. Flying China Airlines via Taipei is the fastest way to go to Australia. So I just checked in and dropped off my bag. Uh, my carry-on was 12 kilos, unfortunately, I did have to check it in. I was given those two papers because of my SkyTeam Elite Plus status. So one of them is a 1,500 yen voucher. The other one is basically explaining where you can redeem it. So Takamasu Airport has an airport lounge. It's called the Lounge Sanuki probably not up to international standards so they gave us this voucher to use it in convenience stores and restaurants as well as juicy free shops however you still have the option to use it in the lounge sanuki so today i'm not going to check out lounge sanuki instead i'll use my voucher at this udon store so the 1,500 yen voucher is worth about 10 US dollars or 15 Australian dollars. It's not a lot of money in terms of AUD or USD, but it's more than enough for a big bowl of udon. This udon has everything including eggs, beef and tempura shrimp. That was one amazing bowl of udon. Sanuki udon is really popular in the Shikoku and Takamasu area. About an hour before departure, I decided to go through security and immigration. And here's the air side. It only handles one single flight here. So for the security and immigration, whether it gets busy or not, it depends on your fellow travelers. When do they go through? The air side is quite contained. It hasn't got any windows and low ceiling. Here you've got enough chairs for a full A320 flight, a vending machine, smoking room, several PowerPoints, bathroom, and a water fountain. Our A321 flight is full and the air side or the waiting zone only got as busy as it is now so it wasn't too bad. On the way to the aero bridge, we finally get a glimpse of our Pikachu jet. It's a one-year-old China Airlines Airbus A321 EO Bravo 18101. It's one of the seven flying Pikachu jets around the world. There's a tray on the right hand side, you can grab some complimentary earphones. Welcome on board China Airlines Airbus A321 Neo Pikachu jet. Configuration in economy is in a standard 3x3. My seat today 55A, a window seat on the left hand side. Now for the seat features, unfortunately the snow cut hook, you get a really really big 13 inch 4K touchscreen TV. Down here you'll find USB-C port and headphone jack. You get a tiny tray table, you might have trouble placing a laptop on the tray table. I like the seat pocket they've got here, it's got three pouches, it's great for storing your personal items. Leg room is pretty good, about 32 inches. You've got a sturdy and comfortable synthetic leather headrest. You can move it up and down and adjust the sides as well. The seat itself is also covered by synthetic leather. But the specific type of leather that they're using is really slippery. So whenever I try to sit upright, I slide down a little bit. Despite that, it's a relatively comfortable seat. And when I slid down, there was still enough leg room. On this short flight to Taipei, you get pillows and blanket. The pillowcase has Pikachu on it. It's rather kawaii. Good evening, dear passengers. This is your cabin manager, Shari. Please stand by for Skyteam Ever China Airlines, KLM Royal Dutch Airlines, and Japan Airlines co-share flight from Takamatsu to Taipei. 
Our flight time today from Takamatsu to Taipei will be 2 hours and 20 minutes. 2 hours and 20 minutes. Now please pay attention to the following demonstration. Thank you. Before takeoff, a cabin crew came to my seat and greeted me and thanked me for being a Sky Team Elite Plus member and flying China Airlines today. She gave me a rather detailed weather report, which was a super nice touch. This really shows how much China Airlines value their frequent flies, including those from partner airlines. Now that we're airborne, I'll quickly go through the in flight entertainment. China Airlines A321neo has the newest in flight entertainment system. It's really easy to navigate and it's really responsive to your finger. And importantly, the screen is really big and it's got really high resolution, it's 4K. There are plenty of movies and TV shows to choose from. Here's the flight map, it's interactive and again, it's really easy to navigate. So currently we're still over Shikoku, an island west of Osaka. From Osaka to Takamatsu, there's no direct flights. You'll need to catch Shinkansen, the bullet train, to Okayama, it's about 40 minutes, and then an hour commuter train to Takamatsu. Wi-Fi is available on this aircraft for a cost. The cheapest plan is $8, and you get 50 megabytes. Good evening, dear passengers. Hope you have kept attention. Captain Manager Zhang and I take two. Including one Japanese crew, one Thai two. Give the operation to one of the best flight members, and Sky Team members and all the guests. We will start by mention a meal service shuttling. Do you please start speaking after meal service? Moreover, you are more than welcome to go to China Airlines website and order. Shortly after takeoff, the cabin crew began the service. It started with a pack of snacks. It's mixed Japanese nuts. The packaging has Pikachu on it. Next, the cabin manager came to the aisle to give us a pen for souvenir. And again, of course, we've got some Pikachu on it. And by the way, it's a really good pen. It's a wet ink pen. For this flight to Taipei, I pre-ordered a vegan oriental meal. I received my meal half an hour after takeoff. You get a full meal with three courses on this two and a half hour flight in economy. That alone is really impressive. And again, even though it's a special meal, you do get Pikachu on it. Now for starter, we've got mixed Chinese cabbage and fungus. In the middle, we've got fruit. That tiny little cup is for coffee and tea later. Usually there's no beverage, even water, with your special meal. You'll have to wait for the beverage cart to come around. That could take up to half an hour. So the crew gave me a cup of water in advance, with Pikachu on it. We also get a bread and margarine. So for main course, it's a teriyaki tofu and vegetable rice. I'm just going to mix everything together now so that the teriyaki sauce gets everywhere. Mm-hmm, it's Pikalicious. I started eating vegan or vegetarian meal a lot recently, and I must say Korean Air and China Airlines do them really well. For those who didn't opt for a special meal today, your options are chicken rice noodle or beef rice. 
What I'm really liking about this Pikachu flight so far is that it's unique, it's not another uneventful boring flight in economy class. And for those who don't really care about Pikachu, there's only a moderate amount of Pokemon, like on the meal tray, on the cabin crew apron, and on your pillowcase. They're not really forcing it too much, so I think it's a kawaii flight and no one's gonna feel uncomfortable. Now that everybody got their meals, they started giving out hot beverages like coffee and tea. I got this Chinese tea, it's pretty good, but it's also really, really hot. Hello there, welcome on board China Airlines A321 Neo lavatory tour. There are three at the back of this aircraft, so four lavatories in total. So amenity-wise, we got cologne, which is quite rare for economy, hand lotion and body lotion, and this is hand wash. The sink, napkins, tissues, kapuk. I like the slight faded grey colours on the door, mirror, and the toilet itself. Got plenty of space here, pretty good for a narrow body. Our flight to Taipei today is completely full. A lot of Taiwanese people travelling in Shikoku area and a lot of Japanese people going overseas with China Airlines. We've started our descent into Taipei, Taoyuan, and I'll quickly conclude this trip report right here, right now. Our journey today starts at Takamasu. For lounge eligible passengers, there's a lounge Sanuki, and also restaurants for you to choose from. I chose to use the voucher at the Sanuki Udon place, and then it was straight to security and immigration, and then afterwards I boarded the plane. The person was really friendly. She came to me and gave me a detailed weather report and thanked me for flying with China Airlines. My meal was delicious, I finished even the last grain of rice. In-flight entertainment was fantastic, really big screen, lots of choices and 4K resolution. Now for the seat, it was quite comfortable, good back support, a comfortable headrest, great recline and good leg room. The only small remark would be the really slippery leather. I kept sliding forwards, I never had that issue on other planes with leather seats. And finally, it was really cool to be on board one of the Pikachu jets. You can actually find out the schedule for the Pikachu Jets on China Airlines website. I'll have the link in the description. Now for your information, return from Taipei to Takamasu will cost you about 12,000 New Taiwanese dollars or about 600 Aussie, 370 US dollars. It's more or less the same if you're going to Tokyo or Osaka. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching. And by the way, after landing, I'll show you the transit process at Taipei Taoyuan Airport for those interested. And for my connecting flight to Melbourne, Australia, I'll have a separate report and I'll upload that soon. So be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out. So now please enjoy the approach and landing into Taoyuan Airport and I'll see you later when I do the transit. Bye bye.
。此外，提醒您，电子烟是禁止携带入境的。我们再次的感谢您搭乘天河联盟成员中华航空与荷兰皇家航空、日本航空共用班号班机，并希望快能够再度为您服务。各位过境的贵宾，如果您需要协助办理转机手续，请与我们的地勤人员联络。谢谢，再见。Dear passengers, welcome to Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the fastened seatbelt sign is turned off. When opening the overhead compartment, please take care to ensure the contents do not fall out. If your final destination is Taipei, please proceed to Terminal 2 for immigration, customs, and baggage claim. Please be informed electronic cigarettes are prohibited items in Taiwan. Thank you for flying with Skyteam member, China Airlines and the KLM Korea Dash Airlines and Japan Airlines Cushion Flight. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you and goodbye. All chance passengers, please contact our ground staff if you need uh, any assistance with your connecting flight. Thank you. 各位宾，现在您可以开启行动电话的通讯功能。Your passengers, you may now use your transmitting functions or your mobile phones. Thank you. So we just got off the plane. We're currently on the lower floor. Departure floor is upstairs. Simply follow the yellow sign to the transfer area. It's really big and clear. From my gate to the security area, it's about a five minute walk. For those with a heavier bag, you can get one of those trolleys. It's free of charge. Our flight to Melbourne will depart from Terminal 2, and we're currently in Terminal 2, so it's quite convenient we won't have to walk too far. We're now at the entrance of security, and again a big fat yellow sign. I'm actually the only person here, so it's going to be so quick. You simply just grab a tray and do your things. There's no passport or boarding pass check. Security was a breeze. I don't have to take out my laptop. Um, I think I will see any person on that Takamasu flight connecting onwards overseas. So I was the only person at security. So within 10 minutes from stepping off the plane, I reached upstairs the air side of departure level. And China Airlines Dynasty Lounge is less than a minute walk away. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your viewership and subscription. And as always, I hope that you found this video helpful and entertaining. A big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal Me members for your continued support. I'll sign off now and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.